Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of Wade Watches. As the titles told you, this is the first review in my series of Halloween related movie reviews called Scaring Myself Shitless. Why that title? Why Scaring Myself Shitless or SMS for short? Well, because I feel like unlike the majority of very vocal, outspoken, hardcore, diehard horror movie fans. Um, this stuff does affect me really, like, can't scare the shit out of me. Hence the title, Scaring Myself Shitless, um, which is all part of the fun. And I'm sure there are some uh, diehard, hardcore horror movie fans who like horror for the same reasons as I do, because sometimes it's fun to be scared. But I know a lot of them that just like these movies and aren't actually, like, genuinely... Uh, creeped out by them so i guess um i feel like i stand apart sometimes so scaring myself shitless because that's what some of these movies could do to me um and that's what i do when i watch uh, a lot of these horror movies so uh with that being said we're actually starting off um on the on kind of like the light-hearted side of things because in addition to you know just reviewing all sorts of different horror movies i'm gonna be reviewing stuff that's just specifically Halloween related and there are some Halloween related uh horror movies uh with with the same title um but there are also you know some more I guess like family oriented kid friendly sort of stuff so we're starting off on like that kind of uh more I, I guess kid friendly family oriented spectrum with Hocus Pocus and I just had to start off with this one because it's a very fascinating uh, piece of pop culture to me. Um, at the time that this movie was released in 1993, and it was uh, directed by Kenny Ortega, and it starred um, Bet, and it stars Bette Miller, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy. At the time of its release, um, it didn't make a lot of money at the box office. It was uh, it received mixed reactions from critics um, and audiences alike. But um, as the years have gone by, and as it and as it was aired sub up subsequently. Um, by ABC Family, now known as uh, Freeform for their uh, 13 Nights of Halloween special, now the uh, 31 Nights of Halloween. Um, it just gained more popularity and cult following, and now today it's huge. Um, it spawned a franchise. They made a second movie that released on Disney+, Plus, and there's a third movie in the works, apparently. So, uh, yeah, Hocus Pocus is now, like, a cultural phenomenon. It started from humble origins, and now it's, like, synonymous with the holiday itself. And, uh, you know, if, if, if you're one of those folks out there who absolutely love, loves this movie, it's an annual staple. You watch it every year at this time of year. Um, I'm happy for you. More power to you. But, uh, for, as for yours truly, just, eh, it, it didn't do it for me, guys. I'm sorry. Um, now mind you, I'm, I'm with a lot of you out there who were, uh, was introduced to this movie, uh, thanks to ABC family. That was the first time I've seen it. It was, uh, sub several years ago when I was a kid. Um, and at the time I just remember remaining neutral on it. I was just like, you know, I'm just watching ABC family 13 nights of Halloween because I like the 13 nights of Halloween. And this is just one of the, you know, silly little movies that came on. And now I'm um, having just rewatched it last night for this, for this movie review all these years later. Yeah. Um, this, this is, this ain't it. This isn't it for me. Sorry guys. Um, let's get into why this really didn't work. So, um, main thing is that the Sanderson sisters, are the big threat of this movie they're the big antagonist everyone is constantly talking about you, you can't mess with these guys these guys have to be these sisters have to be stopped they are terrified they're intimidating they're gonna um kidnap all the children in the town but the problem is um bent midler sarah jessica parker and kathy and the jimmy all wonderful actresses all you know powerhouse talents but they were obviously all told to just camp it camp it up to a hundred just like ham the shit out of these roles and while their performances were not terrible and while um you know it was you know somewhat entertaining to see them being being these over the top campy witches that uh had you know crazy you know you know like this wacky chemistry with one another this wacky trio of sisters they didn't make for um 
engaging in antagonist at all. I never felt threatened by them. I never felt terrified by them. I never felt intimidated by them. And I didn't care about them being stopped in the movie. And some of you might be going, well, that's not the point. It's supposed to be, you know, a campy performances. And you're right. You're right. Obviously, Kenny Ortega uh, wanted to go for a more camp, lighthearted affair. I mean, this movie is rated PG, but still, it's early 90s PG. And we all know, we all know that early 90s PG is not the same as um, 2020s PG. We all know that. Um, so I felt like, if they had wanted to, they could have made this darker and a bit more sinister, but still could have balanced it out with, you know, that Disney signature brand of campy, campy, happy go lucky comedy that you could have done it. You could have had it uh, both ways. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be reviewing some movies that I feel do do it better. So yeah, just hocus pocus just isn't one of them for me. Um, yeah what what more what more is there to say um oh yes the uh three protagonists of this movie though they're really not the focus of this movie but our trio of uh heroes who have to stop the sanderson sisters after accidentally resurrecting them um you, uh shit you know their names just slipped my mind um hold on Max, uh, Max, you know, he's the main character. He's he's the hero of the story, though not a very likable or engaging hero. Um, Danny, his Max's little sister. And we also have um, Allison, uh, Max's love interest. He's, she's the pretty woman. She's the pretty girl that gets his eye in class and he even like asks her out in front of the whole class, which was kind of... Uh, Silly. Let, let's get into it. Yeah, I, I didn't dig Max as a protagonist. He's this cliche, rebellious, rock rocker, very watered down version of that for Disney uh, kid. You know, he's moping because he moved. He had to move from awesome California, L.A. to crappy Salem, Massachusetts. You know, why did you make me move here, mom and dad? I'm going to go mope and listen to some rock. And, um, you know, he has a little sister, Danny, who is annoying as hell just like the most obnoxious little girl so didn't care that much for her though i will be fair and say there are some heartwarming moments between big brother and little sister that that was kind of like oh you know that's cute you know they, they made up they're trying to um you know um trying to like reestablish their relationship like she's wanting him to be you know her just her big brother you know just her just her pal and you know kind of you know role model and at first he's kind of a dick about it like you know he's mad that he has to take her trick-or-treating but later on he does kind of step into that big brotherly role so i'll, I'll give him props for that that was actually a, a part of this movie that worked for me but the rest of it no um and they're joined by a talking cat, uh, Zachary Binks, who was transformed into a cat way back in uh, um, the 17th century, 1600 Salem, because he tried to go rescue his little sister from the Sandersons, but she uh, got killed. And that was uh, that was um, it would have been more intense if they weren't again, if the three leads weren't hamming it up. But they do kill a little girl at the start of this movie and suck her soul out of her to make themselves younger. He fails to save her. So they turn him into a uh, an immortal cat that can't die. Um, and after shortly after they're hanged. So, you know, again, and even that opening sequence, the way this movie opens, it could have worked. It could have been a bit more sinister and insidious, but they just decided to go this camp direction. So even with like child murder with you know three women witches or not three women being hanged nooses around their neck i just couldn't take any of it seriously because again um they were directed to just ham it up you know kenny ortega was probably like yeah it's a disney movie whatever um let's just camp the shit out of this um so and i and it kind of uh hurts to say because uh, you know Bet all these, all three of these actresses, I've seen them in various things, especially Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker. They could have, if directed differently, all three of them easily could have pulled off being, you know, campy and lighthearted when, when they needed to, but also like being fucking threatening and scary when, when the time calls for it. I could have easily had seen them 
doing that, pulling that off, but they weren't directed to do that. They were just directed to camp it out up, be these goofy fishes out of water, and it just didn't work for me. Sorry, just didn't work. Um, I mean, you know, that famous sequence, I Put a Spell on You, that's kind of the big showstopper, the one musical number in this movie that's not a musical. But, and, you know, maybe it would work better if they just made this whole thing a straight up musical. I mean, we're talking about Walt Disney here, Walt Disney Pictures here. Um, but uh, that was actually one of the better parts of the movie um, because it's like, and it kind of demonstrates my point because it's like, it's this campy musical number, but at the same time, um, she's bewitching all of these parents to like stay, you know, pretty much be um, part do it, you know, engaging, partaking in an eternal party while all their children get kidnapped. And sorry for all the light spoilers. It's a movie from 19. You, you all have seen Hocus Pocus. All right. But um, apologies if uh, anybody was, I'll put a spoiler warning. Maybe, maybe I'll put it in the title. I don't know. Um, I, I'm going to go into more detail, but um, anyway, like, yeah, like just that sequence alone was comedic and funny, but when you stop and think about it, it's like, holy shit, this is dark because they're trapped partying while all their kids are getting kidnapped. Um, if it had kept that tone where it's like, you know, we're, we're going to be hamming, do the Disney thing, but also we are dealing with three witches who want to kidnap a bunch of children and kill them by sucking out their souls. Then I would have been all, all, you know, on board for it. But as it stands, this is just wacky, misdirected, wacky, 90s cheese zaniness that uh just wasn't all engaging um the people we're supposed to be rooting for i i found not a single one of them interesting or intriguing whatsoever um they they were more annoying than anything i mean um the love interest wasn't really annoying but max and danny uh you you they those two uh were kind of getting on my nerves um there's some bullies who weren't at all imposing um and they do i guess kind of have a payoff at the end or do something with them that 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 was actually pretty fun kind of funny and realistic because it's like you know what fuck being the bigger man you guys did this to me fuck you i actually enjoyed that because um it was actually more in character for um max who while unlikable that that does seem like something he would do hell maybe even i would do it because like yeah those bullies um they weren't threatening or imposing but they still did something that was pretty screwed up so you know they deserved what they got at the end it was good to see the bullies get their come up and so they were goofy as shit but uh yeah i digress um yeah i'm sorry sorry if i'm breaking any hearts out there but just nothing about this really was engaging or made for an enjoyable watch i was just kind of sitting there going like huh okay you know people like this it's a cultural phenomenon i guess it's just one of those things that's not for me this isn't the first time that i've deviated from the herd or kind of been in the minority so it's it's all good you know you, it, all of you out there who love this movie it's your annual tradition you have to watch it every halloween more power to you um for yours truly uh I don't know if I'll watch this again. I mean, maybe I'll watch it because Sarah Jessica Parker is absolute looks absolutely gorgeous and stunning in this movie. Uh, but other than that, um, I don't I can't think of another really good reason to watch this every year. But um, more power to those of you who do. But for uh, yours truly, I'm going to give Hocus Pocus a four out of ten. I'm not going to go any lower because, again, as cheesy as those three Sanderson sister witches were, uh, they're the best part of this movie. They're the heart and soul. And when they're on screen, I was thoroughly engaged and entertained, if not disappointed that they weren't more insidious than being witches who want to just enslave, you know, kidnap a bunch of children. But they were the best part of this movie. Whenever they were off screen and we were just dealing with our uh, heroes who have to stop them, though, this whole this shit is all their fault. Um, but, you know, again, that's actually another trope that shows up in movies similar to this with the same premise of you know an evil terrorizing the town it's always one of the characters faults so whatever can't can't nitpick on the movie for that when tons of others have done it but still um when they were on screen um i wasn't i wasn't feeling a single one of them the talking cat is a talking cat um i just really didn't care about them you know the the only thing that works about it was again um when Max and Danny kind of, you know, have to, you know, make up and when they're talking and that's, I think that's like one or two scenes that was pretty engaging. But other than that, whatever. So again, four out of 10 for Hocus Pocus. This has been another edition of 
Wade watches the first of my Scaring Myself Shitless series, and I will definitely be back with more.